As we mentioned, power one, power headline today, we will continue for look at issues we get for do with the census. We get for be December 10 this year. As of yesterday edition of the program, Good Morning Salon, we've been host the statistician general. We been to talk about waiting the preparations we then don't put in place so far. And also we get the concerns of different stakeholders then we get for do with COP and also we get for do with APA and other political parties then their positions on the census. But after yesterday's meeting we the statistician general been all with ten different parties there are so waiting at the outcome and waiting at them positions on the, the census still we get inside the studio Victor King in a, from the Citizens Democratic Party CDP and also in a, the Chairman Media Committee na APA. Once again, good morning and welcome to the program. Good morning. <coughs> and also Femi Claudia School in a, the Chairperson for the <coughs> Unity Party and Chairperson for the Consortium of Progressive Political Parties. Good morning once more. Good morning. Yes, I start with uh, Victor King. We come on APA. We now, the all political parties as situations. Um, we not get to our positions on the census, but before our positions as APA, what do we not make up of the midterm housing and population census? Um, first of all, I want to tell you thank you for we were able to invite you this morning again. A few days ago, I'll be here again, and um, we don't make a position very, very, very clear. And um, like I will say, and um, we, how we arrive at a position concerning the midterm census way back 2015. From 2015, even before they did do the recruitment for people and for workers, I mean, rator, supervisor, district um, census officers. At that time, I'm an Augustan Abidi, I'm chairperson for the association. So we come out with a position, and I still stick on that. We come out with a position at that time where it will be in Kamuyo a whole lot of issues then we submit unto to the government. <laughs> and we hope say that we then go look at that before the census. And then they say, okay, we'll go look at them. We'll say, okay, we'll still look up to them for look at some of the issues. And they, but kind of unfortunate, nobody not call. After some time, the census go on. When the census go on, when it done, after we then, we then present the report, we come back, we we'll tell them, we we'll say, Bo, we don't tell them this one, two is things they want to look at. They don't say nothing. Now we say, you know what Before we sit down, we all know the reason why political party established. Um, Section 351 already don't tell with the whole of political party. So we use that and go around. We go right around this country. We go everywhere and find out, and we come out with a position back. I remember we, Andrew Rousseff, we did give him position on that same issue. We really press conference. We submit them to president again. At that time, nobody not take action. So if now we get a new administration, we don't come and say no. We need to correct some of the problems there are in this um, 2015 census. In fact, we at APA, we are one of the most happiest people. And you know why? Because we don't spend resources on this. We don't go around the country. We don't get them findings. And we don't submit them from 2015, 2016. No action will be taken. So they like it. If we get a new administration, we say, no, we need to look at these things. We look to look at this and all other issues. And some of the observations then form part of the, 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 the same things that we uh, statistics uh, they talk about. As APA, what are some of your observations them inside the 2015 census? Fine. We will not think say yes indeed we need a midterm census. Fine. Um during the the, the 2015 census, first of all, the recruitment process we get a lot of problems. 2015, a lot of problems. It is so partisan. We come up with a position, we tell them, say no. If we say this is a national issue, we feel say political Operative enough for be employed for do this job. Mm. Nobody not take them serious. After the census again, we go around. When we come, one of the problems that we get now the area we are in them river line community. They add to reach places. Then we get issue with some of the emigrators they not able to reach now some of them places. Then they and we we, we talk with the um, district officers them all them people and they we meet with them and self then self tell with the reason and tell with the problems. So some of them not be get away for do unless they do. Which in every same for do at that point. So we get a whole document we will submit to them. We will submit to government. So government be called for engagement. We meet, we talk. If I SLP people say no, they accept that. I remember they say no, they accept that. We try and pull press release and go now, then take all kinds of things accept. But with all man know the reason why APA be formed. APA now a place we are in that, now a platform we 
we dey go, we go, we we go with Sidon, we consult, we go get with hala 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 hala. But we can consult at at some point. We meet at a point, so we'll be able for talk to SLPP. Okay, now we not accept this thing, but for the sake of the people, Lord, look at the national issue. Lord, forget about this partisan partisan. You understand? So we we'll able. With the help of Mother Augusta and the other people over there at that time, we'll be able to talk to them and then be somehow they not accept, but at least they may just go come, make everything, make the thing just go like how it is. So Nanda will be there. But again, we know we see though, we present, we hold document to them. Nobody not take action. So if we can get a new administration with things, say it's necessary for correct some of them problems then they so we at APA, we think say necessary. So when they call we self, they invite we party the meetings, they wait and start to all these things. We go there, then do a whole presentation and we see a lot of things then we will say we did talk about. So we say, okay, no thing. Lord, we discuss this thing further. And we all see that as, as a group, 11 political party, we discuss and further and we agree on certain things then. And we come out with the position say, this is for the people. This is not for political party. This is not for the social economic uh, and benefit of Sierra Leone. It's not about me party, SLPP, APC or, or UP. You understand? So now, based on that kind, now based on that, we all agree and support the process. So what do you think say be responsible for make the concerns them wanna be raised to the people them back then they not be listening to some of the thing them we you just know I like say okay. na be problem. Okay. Um we we'll be just come up at the Ebola. We we'll just come up at the Ebola and a lot of tension and at least um, government made try for put things in place at that time, you know, we get that this kind of emergency health something and all those things. So when we submit them things, then they then just tell we say on a lot of wait and we go see how best thinking correct time, nothing we it time consuming, nothing we um it 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 get cost implication and all that kind of things then they. But God bear our witness, we make sure say we give we point out and we submit unto the people that are responsible. So if they don't be take action, it be well. Nothing saying that they young problem that by the end of the day, if a new administration comes, we say now we need for correct them problems there. And then, I mean now one person we. Very meticulous. When they say certain things, I tell them, I say, no, 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 no. We need for do, need for do this. And I think it's the right way to go. One thing you mentioned inside your statement with the Guy, as reasons them where you've been thinking, say, the, the 2015 census mm -hmm. gets now the issue of, you say, partisan. What exactly you they talk about where you say it was partisan okay. census? All right, fine. And um, during the process, then you see chairman of a party, chairman or deputy chairman, be district census officer. Where we savvy. Well, then they don't tell anything, then they be district. And enough for be so. If you see you don't begin to take possibly when a politician for go turn district officer or supervisor, what you get for things say the end product get for be look like. So their issues then they be affects national development in any way? Of course, because if you find out, if you look at the report and thoroughly they see say there are some places then where some of we go. And the way we find out, say, even the figure where it come out, say, now then kind of people are there, now then kind of places there. So we find out, say, based on what we find out, we're going to the ground about a, a, about a month with the waka waka in this country. No more. We find out, say, some of them are not reflective because if you go to the side, now a whole village, we say you get over uh, uh, 100 or 200 or 300 people, and then tell you, me, they're not going to me, they're not going to me. You understand? So we'll look at again, another issue we'll look at again, we'll look at the technological aspect of it. This is a this is not the first kind of census where they can get in Sierra Leone. Forget when they use technology, computer assisted based something for able help with for come to populations. And based on the um, um, presentation we then be do to we, and then tell we see enough people like Tkade, we, if the person where they go, for example, they go to me also sign me day, for example, can just sit down and say, hey, I don't kind of this host and just fill me questionnaire and go back. And not they walk that way again and say, you get for the 10 meter towards the, the, the person premises before even the tablet open. So then do all them kind of presentation in it too. And we think say necessary at this time. Okay, well, continue for the with me. That's now Victor King, we're the chairman for the media committee for the All Political Parties Association, APA. Well, they are the talk about the midterm and housing population census we will be friday december 10. same way so we're going to the studio madam femi claudio school we are the chairperson for the consortium of progressive political parties well it's fda for can talk but in position concerning the census good morning once more welcome to the program good morning thank you everyone that called me 
You don't listen from within Mr. King don't talk with regards to the censors. Why make them the support this particular census we will be Friday? Because of issues them we been come out from the twenty fifteen census we then be conduct. Now for COP we see Usai Unadome kuna yung position noon with regards to this particular census. Mm -hmm. So what is the actual problem una yung position una get with the census before be Friday? Dear Abeg, before I answer the question directly, I want for correct certain things the way Victor say. Now, the issue, and um, the head, Malam O, was here yesterday. We are waiting to see. So, some of waiting in self say, not means, in all true, but in all lie, but in all true. Where he say the census being get a 60% error. Now, what in the actually mean for say, when then they do census, then they shape the place, then get different type, then get the type one, type two, type three census. So, what's the error been day? What in Victor, they try for say. Now, the type three EAs, that are the enumeration areas then. Now, they you mean get a 5% error. So, how you go calculate them? Now, 5%. Of 60%. So the actual error where we exist in the 2015 census was a 3% error. Not a 60% error. So let me just clarify that day. And the other reasons that we then get, we then give for the justification of this new census, we get an eye. Not on that in where I do, not on that in where uh, uh, statistics are alone in one grain do, and something with the World Bank do for assist a couple of countries. There okay, so but with that small concern, the, you know things say um not be concerned to people if we be worried about there's that small error they will I like that small error they means you can go back to the type three and correct just the type three areas. So now what to make we like go to your question now will you they ask me? What to make COP they against, what to make me as the leader of Unity Party? Not they support the census. In the initial phase, this progress, the, the process for the census, the government initiated them. In that first phase, failing for do them due diligence. How? Before ever you they begin any kind of a census, you get for go lay the paper in a parliament. Then fail for do that up until when the leader of the opposition in parliament call their attention, say, this process we una want to start. It's illegal. The initiation of the census, this midterm census, was illegal. Now, a privilege, or a for say, sad, for say, I mean, they in a parliament, the day we then go attempt for later paper day. Now, been total chaos and pandemonium, and at the end of the day, even the other day, we are privileged for the back in the parliament. The, the opposition leader again told them that that paper was not properly laid. Then, then from the let us say from the honeymoon period, now they, the government don't they do missteps. The constitution is clear on what they're supposed to do. Then fail for do. Secondly, the president gets a right, yes, for call a census. The president gets the right. For hire and fire. The president also supposed for use that wisdom day, advised by the minister on the wisdom of doing a midterm census. Now, right, so, so we'll not agree with that. So the census was eventually improperly but laid in parliament nonetheless. What make we the object? When we get First of all, the fin there, are three, there are many areas. One is the feasibility of the financial expenditure. Where if na a 3% error, una one for correct. Need day for let una do an entire census. Literally, we do a census 36 months to the scheduled 10 year census. For correct anomalies, that's equivalent to only a 3% error in the original 2015 census. When we get that three days EOM conference, the issue 
of boundaries of delimitation came up. They finally concluded when they voted that the electoral calendar that is already set will stay. And boundaries delimitation will be done in 2024, was agreed upon. When they then pull the report from that three days day, they now added what in then call externalities. And the externality, they say, depending on the result <coughs> we then get from the census, they may, it may impact the boundaries of the limitation. What in that mean? It means say, then they wait for their number then, yeah. We self naco we believe say they already don't get the number the way they want, in order that they can increase the number of districts and constituencies so that then they tip the scale in balance of their favor. So let we look at you, you, you points them we don't mention. You don't mention three key points them. One, that the couple were involved and <coughs> procedures and also the fear that then boundary delimitation go be added or constituencies or words yes. or districts might be added where they give the party in power more positions. What's in that one a real concern amongst all the three things that we don't highlight as okay. COP? Well, I just the start. I'm not done with all waiting our concerns in it. So that is one big concern. Because by so doing, you now they tip you, you basically they put you on the scale <coughs> for tip the election in favor of this government. Once they're not able for create all the things they are so they want to create. We actually believe, say, then they work behind. They don't get all the things they want to do. They don't name the districts the way they want. All they are waiting for now the figures for justifying. So you get the name of the districts? Under the... I know uh, Kalangbana one. I don't remember the other two. But I should say I will get them. I will remember before we really end, end up the show. So they don't already get the numbers where they want. Now, they get the districts and everything where they want. So what they need from this midterm census... Now, for plug them in and skew the election in their favor. If that's not the case. That, that's the big allegations, Madam it, it, it is, Claudia And it is you an allegation. Evidence. And it is. And I stand by it. You get evidence. When we had the EOM three-day conference, they agree, see, we know we'll get boundaries of delimitation. I'll show you why. If it smells bad, it is bad. When they do that three-day conference day, it was agreed upon that boundaries of delimitation will be done in 2024. But when they pulled the report now, they added them as externalities. That means to say, what we don't agree upon, they don't intend for a buy by them. They want to look now when the census numbers then don't come out, they then have that justification to rescind what we had agreed upon to say those delimitations will not be done. Say 2024. But let me left down there as one aspect. Let me look at the fight. Now it is December. We have actually, let us say it is 2022. The year done done. In 2022, we have council elections. It is basically now into campaign year. Some of the reasons where then they give it. Why then say this census? This was the 10 key points produced by statistics earlier. One, they say for accurate data decision. If not for accurate data, waiting till the schedule 2025 makes sense. Just wait. Before we spend $19 million in 2022, we spend back another 19 or more million dollars in 2025. It is fiscally irresponsible. Then they actually say timely production of accurate cartographic maps. Then don't this now from 2020, 2020. Nine them for don't begin do that in years. So, so una don't postpone them, una don't postpone them. Now it don't reach to 21. What we are saying in COP, postpone it to 2025. So that's your positions. And then come back, say accurate and fast capture of reporting the data. Now, me no know for you. Me left me on switch blackout. You know, they try for tell we say we're going to use this electronic system. 
We saw the malfunctioning of electronic system do in Accra. So, waiting on a they tell we and the facts that we normally they see on ground, we saw the Nakra was a chaos. That registration process was a chaos. We were ill prepared, the equipment were malfunctioning, and everybody was not captured. So, when you look at the accuracy of the data and you look at the rush that they are on, yesterday's conference. We they come to the conference, Madam Cole. We they can look more of the conference and outcome of the conference and some of our positions them inside the program. Mr. King, before we go for that break, they will say, Madam Femi Claudio School. We highlight some different points them. Why make they not think say the midterm sense was important and make some allegations them as well. <coughs> and self raise points we get for do it. These sensors they carry with increasing numbers, constituencies and world. And a CMC you not know, timely because the country they about to get a national election. And <clears> when you look at history, we get for do with census and population distribution. Uh -huh. We they find out say most of the census them they bring more districts, more ward, more provinces, and self chiefdoms them. And we suicide the 2004 population census. Then we propose the one for rename the Western Area Province. And we suicide and be shibam. We get for do with the western area rural and western area urban. Oh. And the western area rural, then be divided into four wards. And southwestern area urban, then be divided into eight wards. So with the concerns, them we, Madam Femi is. You think, say, e, 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 accurate and important, the concern we get towards this particular census? Um, <laughs> thank you very much, um, Princess. Um, first of all, Madam Femi Semeke corrects me in the area of the type three. And I believe check me, I believe check me record and I get some of the things. And first of all, the um, type three locality we did talk about, let's say for argument's sake, the five percent we them say faulty. Make we say, for example, if now like who's I the democracy day, so now you have this five percent day, but we people can just sit down at the office, then fix up. But this 5% where they talk about, it cut across the country. And the same um, 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 expert way then we get 2015, when IPC, now then the consultants or whatsoever, the same expert come back and say, you know what, thing? the only way we can correct this issue, now we will get a midterm census. So saying that maybe government gets, I'm not going to talk for government, really, I don't want to go that part. I want to limit my argument based on statistics. You understand? Let us see now. For I get the I get the whole document, the statistic document that me and I just know one for talk something we are not savvy or don't know about. Let us say for just for um um um, um for say the five percent of the sixty percent of the ammunition area is faulty. Okay. Now the five percent we did talk about, when are the type three locality. Not to like for saying that God reach no more than they go, then just go God reach, then call the people in God reach and fix the problem up. This type three locality we talk about is scattered all over this country. And the only way we will solve that, now when you get a midterm census, we go right around the country back and get the population new fresh. And you can able to make judgment on that now. Say now, we don't get an accurate data. For me, the area of saying uh, um, government who can, who can get new districts, new new constituency, new this, new that. I know we talk on that much because statistic in job, now for do, now for count the people, and after they don't count the people, and they don't make the data available. It all depends which institution one for use them within the law. We know the person not just grab one money, say, and they can go do new bandwidth delimitation. It's not possible. You get the laws. You go through the laws. You understand? So if Madam Femi also, they talk about, say, government Money not there for spend for do the census. I don't know if we they follow up the budget. If you follow up the budget, you find out, say, the, 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 the midterm census budget was approved by parliament with the same APC and SLPP MPs. So if Madam Femi they claim that say money not there, so I doubt. And again, I'm glad the way they say most of what they talk, not just an allegation. Sometimes you finally get facts. Me, I can always say this. You see, politics, me and a young man, not forget about the age. But I think at some point, you know, you get for, you get for go through some ranks, make you understand. For just the grab, 
and they say something where you know get evidence about things that we you know certain about. So, so look, I think it's so, so, so no, 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 no limits this 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 debates to the issues. Of Don't sense forget sense. about the, the personalities. No, it's not the, about the person. issue <laughs> of, of, of couple where the other parties then they really say the couple buckle for put into the census at this moment or this trying time of the, the country and also procedural issues. For una na upper, una not see this as a concern. One, I just highlight the issue about funding. Not so just now. I tell you, see, the same APC, MP, and SLPP, MP, they approve a budget where in census, they inside it, big time census, they inside. Then I one. Two, you talk about procedure, not so. You talk about procedure, maybe you talk about parliament, not so. The day when I go to the paper, Madam Femi was there, I was there, not so. We all be the day. We see what happened when MP all the fed themselves. But at some point, there was karma. And for me, I believe the paper was laid properly. So for one, I don't get issue with the pro procedures we don't get and the, any the issue, issue of the, 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 the time couple we government they spend on the census. We, yes, we thank God we government things say necessary for spend per census at this time. We donors themselves think say it necessary for spend money per this kind of census for make you get a credible data. Okay, so Madam Cole, you don't listen to Mr. King say then things say this timely and save the couple and the process, then no say it is in line. So what do you get for say towards that particular statement today? Um, on Monday, COP being gets black Monday. We can let us then go to the key people then where they support and fund many of the things that we would do. And I go on for help Mr. King for tell and say this census was initiated by the World Bank and the UN, FPA, etc. In 2017, it was a project for a couple of different countries. They later on added Sierra Leone to that list. And it is being funded by the World Bank and UNFPA and other organizations. But your primary funder is actually the World Bank. Now, we point where we they talk about fiscal responsibility is this. In a country that is as deprived as ours, where the issues then so boku, where the people then so they cry, right now, South Sudan, so we, the ship where they give you lights, we owe them. Nakovac staff, they strike. Lecturers, them, they strike. Hospital workers, the porters in the hospitals, they know they pay them. Where them push patients and give them small thing. So what thing will they say? In terms of fiscal responsibility, we're not there against a census per se. What thing will they say is, if fiscally responsible for let you do census in 2022, in 36 months, you turn around and spend another $19 million? It make no sense. So what do you want for see happen? What do we want for see happen is this. Two things. How far in the process? Now, the last, the last date where they give me, almost before the date 9, uh, Shuban. It makes sense for let we push this <coughs> census to 2025, where we get enough time. Remember, yesterday in the meeting, they said they they train 15,000, and at today the training for them. So if you still the train, and up until a few days ago, one of we your member, then go do the pilot. Then go do pilot. Now, pilot for done done, three months before this ex escapade, and then after the pilot, una for don't Madam publish Col the report from the pilot. We can look at the outcome of Policy. that meeting. We can look at outcome of the meeting. Statistics alone beget meeting with political party them concerning these censors for the updates for the process. Well, for more on this, make we join Musa Kamara, uh, Usman Kamara. After plenty concern from political party and other concerned citizens, them, but the census where they believe say not timely, statistics alone don't hold meeting with political party member them, like APC, C4C, NGC, UP, APA, and other one them, for updates them and look inside the concern them, whether don't they raise, but the national midterm population and housing census. Professor Usman Sanko, now the statistics and general for statistics alone. We immediately give update to political party member them. It say the institution get the best IT system. We make them spend 
close to million dollar for set up this system so that it go able to manage the data where they collect all over the country. One thing that uh, we are proud of and which is a big achievement so far is our IT infrastructure. We've spent close to a million dollars to get the best you can find in Africa in terms of servers, in terms of technology, in terms of encryption capacity, security, in terms of access and all this. The cloud server, think about it. We have it and we are training it. We have people who are training this and where we don't, we have consultants. So this is what your institution have, uh, has, has actually achieved and would want all of you to be involved in the monitoring. In the sensors, in the uh, pilot sensors, uh, civil society organizations, and I think we have a budget for all of this. People have been taking part in the monitoring. We immediately talk, the Deputy Statistician General for Statistics Alone and Rubob Johnny say, the sensors not different from other one them, and say, Statistics Alone go add small term after the 14 days term for people where they not go able to count inside the 14 days so that Salon go get correct data. This census is not an exception to the previous ones where you will not have a mopping up. That mopping up will continue after the main because we have callbacks. You go to certain households, people are not there, so you have to check the rule is you have to be there twice before you can actually exit and say, okay, now I have exhausted all means I'm not there. To span beyond the 23rd and could even go. I can tell you, after the main census, the two weeks, which is very traditional, we go through mopping up for even a week or two. But there are instances where you don't get people up, especially in the metropolis. You have to make sure you get everyone counted. So we go back and make sure the checks are done to have this right. The innovation, I can assure you, we have done a lot of preparation. So much money has been spent on this, and we are here to that. All our staff we have are experienced, because most of them are, in fact, those we involved in the cartographic mapping and the pilot mapping. After updates to political party member them from senior member them at Statistics Salon, the floor be open for contribution. And Femi Claudio School, now the leader for the Unity Party, and this now be in concern. And along the line, the chairman for Statistics Council, Moses William, be respond to them concern here. This is my first invitation which we had on 98.1. We have not been engaged on any level. The fact that we know now that APA does not entail all political parties, I think we take it from there. Convene we convene meetings. meetings when we have a report to make. I you can't just bring people here and you don't tell them something. As I am listening to your presentation, it is not for you to convince me. It is for me to take away what I will take away. Madam, census is meant for the entire so, country. what I'm saying... If people if refuse... No! Plan. I mean, we can't allow this to happen here. No, what I'm Nobody saying. is going to blackmail us. Census is meant for the whole country. I quite agree. Fine. If we go to you and you refuse to answer our questions, then we take it from there. Okay, before getting angry, allow me No, I'm not lie. getting angry. Oh, yes, you are. You started being angry here. As concerned, they still may come up. Dr. Richard Conten are the person we represent the APC party inside this meeting. Usa is say, from where statistics salon call meeting one term and later set up WhatsApp group. From that term, they nothing not happen. We make it say, statistics salon not treat them fine. When you initiated this process, you wrote to the APC and invited APC to nominate somebody to serve on this committee and you followed it up with a call. Dr. Richard Conte was nominated. Following that, you invited APC to the first, to the inaugural meeting. Following that, you set up a WhatsApp group. End of story. We have never been consulted again. We have never been invited to any meeting. We know nothing. I was watching television that I had of an advisory committee. So I went back now to my phone and then I saw the invitation. APC was not, as a member of this committee, was not treated with the seriousness it deserves. So all I'm saying here is that there have been consistent lapses. From that point C, the meeting may get small tension between some political party member them and some member them na statistics alone. We make statistics alone. They ask the media for left the building because thing may not be good change. Now for sake of this make the leader for the unity party, Femi Claudio School, self be left the building. Even though the media nominate day again for know how this meeting will end, as time they go, 98.100 the democracy go talk to some political party member them for know what thing they may agree on. 
for the Society for Radio Democracy, Mina Usman Kamara, the report. The program you listen to now, Good Morning Salon, where they come to you from 98.1 FM. That's now been the yesterday's meeting with the Statistics Salon all with stakeholders Then we get concerned for secret sensors. We come to Femi Claudio School. We have been one of the people and we attend this meeting on behalf of COP. After yesterday's meeting, anything changed with the positions of COP? No, nothing at all, no change with COP in position. COP stand by waiting we write. We know they support the process at all. And we serve the advice, remembers them, that this is not a credible process and we're staying away. We know they support them at all. So they be able to address on our concerns them at all during this meeting? No, this meeting, as usual, not to be for really address concern, not being for those showcase to we waiting they don't do. And waiting my own point is, if you recall me to a meeting two days before the event, I wonder what kind of contribution of meaning we get able to make. And if you they, even they tell me, tell me the real fact. You're not able to talk to me, but on a challenges where on a they meet. Because one way I raise this now is that after the pilot study, then suppose for publish the results of the pilot study. Wait today, we not even see that result there yet. Then then talk now then presentation say then the train don't take today. So in terms of the technical readiness, we get questions. When we begin talk about technical issue, oh it's all like said the one jump come on and then cheer them. So certain areas and they will then no one for talk about. I think to say then just call we under, just just for say no more, then call we. And the objection we are raised to them is we done the raise objection about this census a year ago. I said inside that time, they una fit for don't call. We let we engage, let we dialogue, let we able for see how best we can able for meet each other and see who side problems and they and why we foresee a problem. Earlier, you talk about the census according to you say you not credible as staying off. What do you mean exactly? What do you do call? We get issues with a the timing, a the technical preparedness. And why we go get so many issues? We go get so many issues because there's been no dialogue. What will they see? What will they hear? Now will they take it away from us? Staying off in which sense? Staying off? What in exactly they talk about? Staying off and you ask supporters stay off? Yeah, we're not, we're not a participant in the process. We're not, if person can't be us, I'm not the opinion, get it. So, so, other person who argues a census for make you be counted na rights to any citizens and take part in national activities, making this call at this moment, you think say a right? No, na me o right. If I they say count me no count me no to fetu. If me say me no one let you count me, and I get good valid reasons why I say let you no count me, you no count me, and I know they break no law. Waiting there against the law, now for obstruct the process. That's where you come for can't count me. I can't fetch you. I tell you close. I draw your iPad now you and that is obstruction of the process. And what in me they try for say this government get one habit. Where if I am at this juncture for let them begin get out of them. Everything gets a proper procedure. Especially we in the opposition. Then can treat we as if we are not part. Opposition is also part of governance. We self get a role and responsibility for play. And where we see census where they come out where from the beginning you can see say it lack that credibility day. From last year, then fit for don't call, we say, okay, who's on get concerned? And even after the EOM three days, come back and, uh, and confirm and say, look, the results here will not get for use them for no boundary delimitation until 2024. Okay. Now, we don't clear that the government comes out with a statement for say, the result here will not get for do nothing like boundary delimitation. So now, when I come around the table, who say else when I see say, technical lapses then they, let we all engage, join on, and do a census for we all. So for you, we be, we be need assurance say, this not lead to any gerrymandry addition of boundaries for political reasons. Is that's, that the case? That's not a good place for let the government start. Okay, well, we and in all it for let we engage that with it. Victor, can you now one of the people them own our organizations now one of the organizations that we take part in the meeting yesterday okay. for una, um, how you can describe the outcome of the meeting? Um, first of all, we we at APA for the inception we did take part in the meeting, and when I say APA, not only like I mean 
and like me one go with Sidoya up on uh, the platform for almost for uh, okay. eleven political party, and then um, I know say we all views always everybody make it position and we we'll make sure say we present them, and, and what me think um, as at now I think say it's too premature for make people and they look at the end product as at now. I think what we need for they do now, now for able to check whether the process is credible. The credibility of the process is very important. The reason being, any census, say, I'll you know to once away, we, we know the parts of the world. Any census way then they conduct in any country, we get the um, UN standard. You get the guidelines then. If this particular census not be meet some of them guidelines, then they, I don't think like we, Madame, they say, the World Bank, they fund the whole process. I don't think the World Bank forever put the, your money there. The, 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 Victor King, the issue here we other people get or the concern we then get, now the timing of the census and the couple we government and donor partners they put into the census. Okay. Now doing census in 2021, almost 2022, mm -hmm. and doing the same census less than three years or four years again. Mm -hmm. The thing say, why can't you leave everything to 2025 and do the counting? Um, first of all, what you say, why can't you? <laughs> me not to, uh, not, me not to government. With no, that, no, that, yes. That, uh, so these are the positions. Why we can't position, yeah, okay, yeah. let me see. Why, just say why upper? So say maybe I'll be able to answer to you properly. The reason being, we don't see the, we, some of, we don't see the need, in necessary, for make we correct some of them problems and they, or make statistics correct them problems then they. Me no, I don't like for talk to you, I don't know. Don't, I don't like for put sentiment, but things then for satisfy people or for satisfy me, myself. Whatever I think we will, we will try for do, it's for the will of the people. It's not about individual people, like, you understand? So we, like I, I say, you see, we still stick on opposition. Now that make yesterday, we make a known, make people understand, say this is our position. And these are the reasons then why we support this process. Now you talk about World Bank no go with. If World Bank no be CC, seriousness day in this process, you feel say they for put the money par? Now because then CC, there is credibility in it and they're ready for put the money for support the process. Now people listening to you, APA positions and APA is supporting and we get the couple, so we get the young positions from mm -hmm. the APA standpoint. Would that them would they talk about who's party then they with APA and where they support the process? Okay, fine. Um, I, can, I can always tell people, um, um, okay, we get 11 political party. you understand? One, na SLPP, two, na CDP, three, na PDP, RFP, PLP, UDM, NERP, UNPP, C4C, NDA, and ADP. And then um, if you talk about another renegade group, it's something like four or five people and they within the claim say they're not thirteen political party. You understand? And then um, what I can want to do as journalists also, we for try also for the try for do research with the um, 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 the statutory body that we responsible for the conduct of political party. So of the information and we will give one alone and no, because people and they use party people that we don't in a party, we don't get problem, they don't come out, cow them. Put another so-called, I call, I don't know how they call themselves, say they're a cop. Then they go and make statements. No, after Mr. King, Mr. King, I want to let you, you, you Mr. King, I want to let you control the, the, the statements no. and the wordings. Uh, you don't call so-called. This is me, a very fact, big me platform now. So, I, I don't know about So them, just so. ask about you and you your political parties where they, rep where they represent for, uh, for make people really I don't understand. Exactly so it's okay, it's okay like party. that. Yeah. So with all of the issues and then concern we don't come out from different political parties they multi regards the census because of them believe make them say they know they take part in this process. So how upper how best una go talk to una membership and member them for be part of this process? First of all, listen one way. Me being here, what they talk now, the people that we know me, we know say na citizen democratic party are there as chairman. And the person that we know me also say, I didn't have the whole political party also, I didn't represent over 11 political parties. And then they listen to me now. And I didn't encourage them for make them make themselves avail. Let them count them. Somebody now go sit down, they go inside you, tell you, you know, go let them come to you. Maybe now, not possible. Now, Madam Femi, with all of the issues they are <laughs> going towards the census, not just few days away towards the census. 
people backing out. No one for take part in the process. Mm -hmm. You think say this go will make government get credible data? No matter what thing we do at this juncture, the data we get for come up from this census not get for be credible. Um, but do are big. This upper conversation now, like we person don't die, they you defect for no eating kill them. <laughs> you know, unfortunate self say we actually get for um waiting. So we we not go into who that are waiting. Cop at the consortium of progressive political parties. We the watchdog with democratic process. We not to the chair leading team for the SLPP. We the watch waiting for benefit and change the lives so, so, of people of Sierra Leone. So Mr. Ma uh, Madam Cole, lo we know who that in the uh, the the cop we you the interest you the represent say who not stay off the census for listeners and the record. You know, what will they do? Instead of me coming down, no, we to just the no, no, list, no, 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 now we can begin we for begin the 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 he's claiming any you know, then had uh, uh, you know uh, what uh, you should do, NLP. and he really Victor really? King, vi, vi, you, you actually did, no, you're on, on, you're on record, no, Victor yes, King, really. please. Um, so let us focus. On the conversation concerning the census. Okay, now. And I want ask, I want direct you one question the way he asked me one or answer. Okay. Where we're not done as to the justification. These are the key points for the census. Um, one is assessment of the national impact of COVID 19. Now, one of the reasons, them key benefits, when well, they say for the census. One, now the evaluation of national progress. Now, in terms of the development of Sierra Leone, who say we do so now? Honestly, we don't need a census. Me not they call a meter. A three-quarter term census because the game don't done. We don't need a three-quarter term census for can't tell we what we don't accomplish. And the moment where President Bio the inaugurate him, if I don't get a plan for the development, there should have been a plan made. I can always talk and say, it's Alex said the victory take them by surprise. Because now, at the end of your term, now you want to do a three-quarter term census for development. It makes no sense. Sierra Leone, we, know we can't afford it. If World Bank, they give you money, UNDP, the UNFP, they give you money, EU, they give you money, and the EU report stated that it was unprecedented. And that word didn't a big word. It gave meaning. It means, say, rather than we spend all this money now, for what result, for what net gain at the end of your term, Wait 2025 and do a proper one. So we then look at the fiscal responsibility. Well, we all hear the picking and are not, then they are like, rest no day, light no day. Can this money not be better spent? Right now, when me left, and so me freeze all on the frost, I don't get light. So rather than using 19 million now and again in 36 months, it don't make sense. But so, sorry. Pulling out at this moment, at this 11th hour, say, okay, we need to register and we know the... Somebody go say that go cost more damage to the census process than government don't put money in and do not partners and don't put money. Oh. Sector of society say, no, we know that they part of them. Okay, look, the problem we exist, and this is a problem with the, in all aspects of the SLPP government, is a lack of consultation, a lack of dialogue, even where we as COP don't write for engage the president, for now we discuss on key issues. From a year ago, now we don't raise this question of the census. So, not all last minute, oh. Nothing will be done, they allow, we don't, they talk, but they let they listen. Until last minute, so go, now you go call me. Who's kind of consultation will they do? Yeah, we don't wear close to the office, but don't cook. Now that's end day, you they call me now for say if not a good man or a bad man. It is too late. So, we no go then buy in into a process that we know will not be credible. It's not credible. A technical team that is not prepared. But look, you are training 15,000 people. The pass mark, na saloon, na 5% where they pass in uh, uh, foreign ex, uh, 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 big exam. So 15,000, and today you train them done. So man, out of that 15,000, they something at the first and then they, they handle the iPad. And you are telling me you are running a credible process. So if, why on earth, what are the mistake where they make? They made the mistake of not engaging and not for dialogue with, with others. Then at the year where the Malam Ode talk now on a station say, we spoke, we consulted all political parties. Now make a tell and say, you know, like a whistle. You're not involved with people, nothing. Nothing. You are talking to APA. 
the upper chairman does not even represent his own party. You talk about national progress and this particular census, governments, according to them, they do um, in line with the national midterm uh, and plan where the government gets mm -hmm. development plan. Mm -hmm. And you say this not got nothing for do with developments. I'll show you, Bima. The reason for the rush, the reason for the timing, the goal is not our development. And if you look another key benefit to them put, but, uh, then they talk about identification of vulnerable persons, including people with disability. Yes, Madam Cole. I'm sorry we get for holiday quickly. We go over to statistics to the join Una again and join the director of communication and the public relations um, uh, statistics salon. We go can tell listeners about the outcome of the meeting. Hello, good morning and welcome to the program. Thank you very much, Musa. Yes, um, we talk about the outcome of the meeting where statistics alone get with uh, stakeholders that we include political parties. For listeners, we not been the part of the meeting and the media being when have been end up for pull the media and I do. What in exactly now the outcome of the yesterday's meeting? Okay, so um, we get we get discussions with the political parties and yesterday um, a couple of things that they will be one for. Uh, get the advice on, uh, well, not to just the political parties, really, because the advisory committee composed of international organizations, it composed of the Ministry of Planning, when I was supervising the ministry, and other people, and, you know, other um, stakeholders and within the, the advisory committee. But importantly, we'll be get political parties and we'll be get a very good representation um, from APC, NGC, um, C4C, then we also been get Madam Femi Claudio School, we've been there. You know, so at the end of the day, basically, we want to get the advice on um, the national and international boundaries that we will deal with them from the census. Um, we want to also involve them from the monitoring. We want to see how then they go work out, how, how then they go pan out. Uh, we will also um, get as one of the um, agenda items. We also want to get a position on the uh, the position of APC, you know, on the boycott or whether it's even the boycott the, the, the census. And then there will be another thing we really want for want for actually talk on and get a way forward on. But at the end of the day. Um, we discuss and, um, you know, then say, we think there be one for the we do not that. Then one day, we um, 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 give the assurances. Then we tell, oh, we, we talk to the government of Sierra Leone, make the government of Sierra Leone put out a declaration, say the, the sense of data not going to be used for political, um, or for constituting constituencies and stuff like that. And that is what we don't remit. So we never tell them, say, that is not for within we remit. And not for within we, 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 we. Um, we, we terms and conditions or by the act of parliament we then create for local hotel government and they, right? So we've been they actually try for fair way for see if they can able for engage government, you know, and move that particular thing they forward and all of that. They, because then key concern yesterday was then say they get information, say the data could be used for, um, you know, do something with politics, uh, constitute constituencies, delineation of boundaries and blah, blah, blah. We, we as an institution, not so we own uh, call and they not so we do do that at all, you know. So now, so the meeting the end at the end of the day will be discussed positively, but then more or less will be ending deadlock because um, you know we know we get a way forward because then it's still is say until we get and they done, um, you know, then we, then we will depart from the process. The meeting end with deadlock and uh, Friday or the tenth of this month's na census and already we don't get consenting views then uh, from different political parties and uh, COP na one set of political group we say no then they need to be counted and the members not going to be counted. This in any way worry statistics at this moment. Um, well, I'm not going to say it they worry we at this moment, but. Not so a good thing for make it happen where political parties then they tell them constituents and say make they not get them count themselves counted. It's not a good thing. Um you know, we get laws, section eight and section fifteen of the census act make a crime if somebody say they can't talk to you, say you know they talk to you and I crime. But we don't want for really go to that level. We know say Sierra Leoneans are peaceful people then, but they try to plead with them. We know they really even they 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 they, they, they take this thing on political lines. So they take at community level. If for example your community not be counted, the 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 the, the effects are adverse because it means say your community will be 
the, the population will be underreported. And when the population is underreported, development will be affected by the community. So now that's the way they tell people then. We don't even they talk based on political lines or within the political parties and say, because at the end of the day, the communities then get for suffer, not to the political parties, that the communities then, the people that within are the wards and the sections and the kingdom then, you know, the, 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 the district then are then get for suffer at the end of the day. So now they would plead to, would talk to. So, for example, for couple then, you know, um, you know, Cop didn't walk out of the meeting. Well, Cop, the leader of Cop, walked out of the meeting yesterday, right? Um, he said because we asked the media out. And in normal, we come to discussions, when are internal discussions. Um, everywhere, you get side with the media, go for stop. Then, when you get internal discussions, you want to discuss. You go ask the media, let them left, they want to discuss. Because not for everything you go want for reach the media space. Because things are the way for be between we and the political parties there alone, or, or the other members of the advisory committee alone. So, Cop walk out, right? And one key issue we've been getting at us yesterday is see, um, then we never invite them. As far as we know, um, COP um, only come in existence after we don't form, we don't form the composition of the, the advisory committee. Uh, nine COP come into existence, all right? Now, we get by the Census Act, now the four political parties then, where they represent in a parliament, now then they're not the committee, all right? Now, by extension, we also get APA. We've been there, the APA legal and the legitimate and PPRC where now the political parties legislation commission confirmed to we say upper legitimate cop they not get any uh, uh, certified registration position so we don't go with upper for represent all the other political parties then cop uh, uh, then 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 um, the, the, the four other political parties where then a parliament they represent themselves then upper represent all the other small small political parties we not in a parliament we not represent in a parliament so in your position yesterday was we don't have an inviter and all of that. They, you know, yeah, you, besides, what they do invite for meetings, the first thing that are, now the attendance scale, now they go back to. So, for example, if you want to invite people, people that we don't come the previous meetings, now they first not the priority. You don't have a committee, we don't ever send to COP, we don't ever send to your party, now two after we invite everybody, they say, um, we don't ever invite you and you raise a lot of uh, eyebrows with the guys and they you get for walk out of the meeting. As so, well, um, the media. Asmana, now so we look so, at you um, earlier statements, say, say going, going against some the of them, right. um, things that process here, so, or standing prayer. against the process, we, um, or you know, you know we make them count you. Really, really correct. One, they say, um, and I'm, Madam Claudia Skoll say, um, you know, the, 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 the census was initiated by the World Bank. It was not initiated by the World Bank. It was initiated by us, and also 2017, because it's not 2017. Maybe now the project, you did talk with the fund, the census, the project, now the ISWA project. Then and day, well, then a national uh, radio, also finally we um, make we get the facts and right, because we did talk to people there, all right? So now part of the ISWA project, not to the World Bank initiator, you know, now we, statistics selling, initiate the midterm census. Another thing, then they talk about the percentage of the type three localities, you get problem. At the end, they say 5% and everything. So 5%. Now, 60% of the country now you get problem where you come to the type 3 locality. So, we also have to be mindful of them things in the day because we go misinform people at the end of the day. Also, he mentioned about the pilot census. He say when we make the pilot, oh, give the pilot census report out. Uh, no, oh, do the pilot census, we'll not give the report out. All right? Now, the pilot census report there on the website. The unfortunate that maybe some people in there uh, will not really check the website for CM. But in the public, in a public domain, the report they did. Another thing he say. Right now, pilot census they go on and they go count to people. In. Well, I don't go, I don't go really doubt because they not been there at the meeting yesterday till the end. Because Doctor Dennis Bright raised that issue. They say people then go now in also in all day, then go meeting West, say the one for Cancun. It was not really counting. We get we get a, a training hall with the around Milton, my guys. When around that party, Doctor Dennis Bright, and we they do field test, we they do pre test of the application. So we they go to houses and for just see how we can do. Um, a test, like where you they really uh, go do your entire process, I get for look like. So we they do pre test. So we, one of the houses that we're going to do, they, they is writing oath. So we tell Andani yesterday, too, not to pilot. Pilot start on the 18th of uh, October. 18th of October, and I've been the pilot census by 19th of October, and the pilot start. It done November 1. So we don't do pilot census over one month ago. All right, those are pilots we they do. So also, finally, we um, 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 they make them things clear so family and go understand. But Madam Cole not been there since the end of the meeting yesterday. So I understand in position where you say pilot sense of still go on. So Asumana, now you don't explain right? what in exactly yeah. don't happen yeah. and yeah. how far yeah. una don't come. Yeah. And earlier you say your statement, you make mention say 
for for refuse for take part in a process like this na crime for somebody when not agree make the encounter inside the census any penalty get for day from statistics alone or from the law enforcers for somebody when not agree make the encounter so maybe maybe i need to just read the, the the act for you all right make i just go through the act that you go understand section eight of the census act say um any person holding a post of an enumerator above who produces an identification card duly signed by the chief census officer and who is employed in the execution of this act shall have the authority to ask of any person whom they have reasonable cause to believe to be able to afford the information desired. All such questions as may be necessary for obtaining any particular required for the purpose of this act, and every person refusing to answer or unknowingly gives a false answer to any such question shall for such refusal or false answer be liable on summary conviction. So a fine. Section 15 go further for say, any person who hinders or obstructs the chief census officer, or any of the persons employed in the execution of this act in the lawful performance of any duties or in the lawful exercise of any power imposed or conferred upon him by, by or under this act shall be guilty of an offense and shall be liable on summary conviction. So it's fine. So Lord and day. But at this juncture, we don't really want to go to that level, De Musa. At this stage, we want to, first of all, plead for the consciences of the Iranians, make them understand, say, this now for the people now for the community do not even take our own political lines all right or the facts say political parties and the same again people you know participate at the end of the day now the people and where they are the community level go for feeling the most all right so we the talk to them make them come out right now we for the do more of sensitization not a situation for the criticize again because say what you may the census is just uh, a day away from us you know tomorrow on a census night friday the counting is now for the got for the canvas people and make them understand how the process get for look like. Those of will come again and they throw spanners into uh, whatever we don't do and all of that. But we expect the views of political parties. And now if we call them yesterday to a meeting, we get a fruitful engagement, uh, just that we're not able to agree on certain things, especially um, the points that we're be raised, say, the one that we do for them, we're not fall within we mandate. As a quick one, you make mention of sections then and the crime if somebody not agree for making them counter. When I get for enforce this section, if in any way somebody say no me then they count me with all the call on I don't make. When we reach that bridge there we will cross them. At this juncture what we they do now for ensure say we we try for plead to people let me get understand the relevance of we conducting the census. When we reach that side there, we reach that bridge there we will cross them. Okay, a name na Samuel Ansumana, Director of Communications and Public Relations na Statistics Salon been to talk to we on the outcome of the meeting with Statistics Salon get with stakeholders them including political parties them um, we can't to femi claudia school you don't get from statistics alone you know been the way the meeting and according to um, the report we play and according to statistics alone now that not the outcome of the meeting yesterday what in you take on the, the, well, the we'll outcome take, i'll let the gentleman go back to the drawing board and check on the 60 percent that they're claiming those are inaccurate figures and it's very worrying if somebody from his department, his caliber, still they propagate wrong information. It's 60% of the type 3 EA. E okay. Is. So you go find it, go back. Then, this thing where they talk, say, um, na crime. Let me self read from the. So with, the with the only the quick, we they go online again and join the media, head of yeah. media for the salon police on issues, then we don't come yeah. for SICA, the censors. Yes, I want for you what in the act actually say. Because this information where then they propagate now say if you say no count me, na crime is inaccurate. And you know finally then they put word out when not to two. It says penalty for obstruction. Any person who hinders or obstructs when then they can't do them work, i.e. if you go buckle them, if you go push them. If you go draw the equipment, that's not obstruction. But count me, I say not count me, no to crime. Okay, Madam Femino, just only the quick. Hello, good morning, and welcome to the program. Hello. Well, would they try to get media one in relation to some arrest them we or invitations we police make in relation to the census? We get for do it 
Ali Komona and the deputy chair na Bombali District for the All People's Congress Party, and also the invitation of Dr. Dennis Bright, chairman of the National Grand Coalition NGC Party, and also the Secretary General of the All People's Congress APC Party, the invitation to police, name with the try for get uh, Assistant Commissioner of Police, Brema Kamara on. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Yes, Superintendent, uh, I'm, Assistant I'm Commissioner of Police, Media One. The issues of arrest of Ali Komana and his deputy, Wena, the chairman for Bombali District, na, for the All People's Congress Party, and also the invitation of Dennis Bright, chairman for the National Grand Coalition, and also Ambassador for the Usman Yansane. He can confirm the invitations here to the police and arrest. The question of invitation. Uh, except we don't know what's in the afternoon alone. But we don't know about the workings of special generals of police. Normally, when we get national issues of security and safety, we normally invite the political heads who can get engagement to them. You know, the police will be practice with the call and look at this policy. We are a variant of community policing. Look at this policy, the more let's talk about policing that meets the needs and expectations of the local community. Well, those needs and expectations must be reflective of national standards and objectives. And so proactively, if there are national issues where you for discuss with political leaders, because then get the responsibility uh, over the membership. You go invite some Polona come and I can sit down and I talk and dialogue. And then apart from not to the first time this is happen, plenty time it will happen. The two the two gentlemen the way you we mentioned, we don't get a meeting way, they know the way they belong, uh, they, they were part of a bigger group. Understand? They come to the IG, the IG get discussions with them, and then they charge the week forward, and then they, they moved out. You don't get one way get for do with individual groups. Either this one belongs to this group or this one belongs to this group, but they come see the IG. The IG also get discussions with them, and then they, so those are just the same thing. So it's not like somebody they talk say they were invited to see ID for questioning. That is not the situation. You talk about they engagement the IGP, with. They are summoned by the IGP. For engagement on issues bordering on security. Engagement with them people are away when I don't invite. When are Dennis Bright and the APC Secretary General Ambassador Usman for the Yansane and Seth Ali Komona and in deputy. You say when I get engagement with them. Basically, this engagement is not on waiting and why? I don't use word. You see, sometimes look for the umbrella word. Uh, I don't use word. It's national. Issues of national, we border on national security and national interest. I, I no need for go and then explain every bit of it. But I don't give you the umbrella word, we say national interest and national security. And that they invite, invite them for. So we know we can't believe they can do all other influences as the case may be. But to get for this national security and national interest. It's not much about um, invitation. Like so I we, 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 the, the issue here is that, um, according to the right up with the past partner, that now after the clip of the ambassador, we are the Secretary General for the All People's Congress Party, who say make the party position known about the censors and also the Dennis Bright Chairman for the National Grand Coalition will be make up position known on Radio Democracy Tuesday edition of the program. And on that basis, they will invite them on for go explain. How true is that? About whichever is the basis, they've been invited to have dialogue with them on the issues of national security and national safety. So whichever now, if you say connected to it, it's not much of the problem. But they were invited for national, for discuss issues of national security and their national safety. That the arrest of Ali Komana, chairman for the All People's Congress Party, na Bombali, and in deputy, where according to rumor, then they come with an attorney. How true is that? It is true. That one is true. They were arrested, and they were also arrested. They were arrested on the same basis: national security, national safety. National security for the listening public. The country they any is they under any national threats? The country under national threats. Uh, national threats. It by it by it by degree. It did by level. Understand? The public. Uh, I said national threats. It did by degree and it did by level. And so therefore, if you didn't have one level, say for example, the level one. If you get any issues away, if you just say go take it to level two. You have the responsibility as an institution to make it act proactively, not wait for the issue that level way, it will become a level of insecurity. 
So on the interest of peace and the interest of national safety and national interest, uh, they were brought down to Freetown and then they will be investigated based on the activities that we will to say uh, we, we suspect them for. They are just like suspects. They are not accused of anything. They are, they are suspects. They arrested the invitations so I get for do with anything we get for do with the censors. I, I don't say I don't want to be very specific, but they have been summoned to police headquarters by the IGP, just like how we done the bid before. Um, Ambassador Al Haji Dr. Puri Anthony, don't kind of police headquarters so many, so many times on national issues for can discuss with IG. Dr. Dennis Bright, don't kind of police headquarters one or two times only day as head of media. We can get discussions with the IGP. Now, on that same basis, they are coming on. So, when they come now, they will. I mean, the, the IG necessarily talk to them directly, not to any, not to any other kind of thing. It's not, it's not like they go to have a letter or whatever. The IG talk to them directly, call them. We get one on one talk with them. So, it's be anything we get for doing something. If I enter a sinister, they will have sent um, uh, an invitation letter for them who come, say, report and say IG or whatever. But they are coming to the office of the IGP and can get discussion time. Just like we normally get discussion time, we on. Engagement with our get issues of national security. Okay, well, that's not the head of media, Brema Kamara, be the talk, not the interview day, Usa, he be the talk about the invitation we then send for the chairman for the NGC party, we na Dr. Dennis Bright, and serve the APC Secretary General Ambassador Usman Fudi Yansane, and Ali Komona, and the deputy from Mombali District, and he said they invite them for can talk about national security issues. The poor guys still listen to our good morning salo well as we wrap up the program now we still get with studio guests them when they talk about the december 10 midterm census and housing population madam Coley, we highlight some points them we get for do with the census with regards from within the positive from statistics don't talk as we not get better them again with the wrap up the program within now you world we still send out with a position with regards the census well <laughs> We don't already begin to see some kind of sign we myself no understand. I think to say, and I see a, a thing from Lawrence Lima, where anyone calling for the rejection of the midterm census, I, count me, not count me, no to police case. It's simple. So it looks like, say, we myself come on a station, myself go down to Rondongo State and headquarters one time, because either that or then go get for put extension on a Padenba Road for arrest. We always say we do not know the country. So, so you still okay. get stand on your position? I on the stand council. strongly on my position. Okay, we come to be talking quickly from the upper. Quick one on our positions and our call to our uh, own followers. Uh, we, we position are the same and we encourage every Sierra Union for be counted. And then um, we encourage all women by nationwide for be counted. Una, thank you very much for Una can you say the program today. Good morning, Salon. Um, Victor King in uh, the chairman, upper chairman media committee, and also we get Femi Claudius call from the inner you know, the chairperson for Unity Party and same way so chairperson for the consortium of progressive political parties be they said the program for talk on them positions them and the way forward for the December 10 census. Una thank you for Una can you say the program. Good morning, Salon.